Let's hope you're having a good weekend. So I'm back with another market outlook trading video where I want to show you the biases to focus on as we head into Monday for the new trading week ahead as well as the key levels that you should take note of, especially if you are trading on your own. Now, just as a recap of what happened this week, okay, this week we actually expected the market to be very smooth, but it didn't turn out very smooth. What happened was that um, the movement was kind of like very constipated for Monday. It, the movement was there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it didn't move. And then Friday, we had a big sell down or, you know, a big move up, which I'll show you on the charts shortly. But I think it's very important you understand that there's a time that, you know, the market is hot in the sense that it's easy to make money and there are times where it's difficult. So this week, we ended off with a small, small loss of about 24 pips, okay? So this is why it's very important that you manage your risk, okay? And you should also see that uh, we are very honest and transparent with you on this channel, okay? We don't try to sell you, you know, that our signals are doing like 99.99995% win rate and that, you know, we make thousands of pips every single week, okay? So that's how it is when it comes to trading. So I hope uh, you did manage to manage your risk properly. If not, you probably would have, uh, you know, suffered a big loss now with that being said what i want to do is i want to jump straight into the charts so you know that before i jump straight into the charts i always look at the forex factory economic calendar so this is the first thing that i, I always do every single week okay so let's look at the economic calendar which shows us the economic data that is going to be released next week so next week, uh, we are looking at the 16th of August to the 20th of August. Now, you can see that next week, we have a couple of uh, high-impact news. Uh, we have this RBNZ rate statement conference, policy statement, and this speech, as well as this meeting minutes. Okay, so next week is probably going to be another tough week because of this meeting minutes, as well as this uh, chairman speech right here okay so these are the kind of weeks that we hate trading uh so please be very careful how you trade next week please manage your risk okay never risk more than three percent of your equity per trade okay i think that goes without saying so next week is not going to be easy okay i expect that the market is going to be very whippy okay so please uh, do not be in a rush to take the trades okay we might not be sending as many trades out as we usually do because these kind of weeks are uh, personally i don't actually like to trade this kind of weeks Okay, so now I can, now that I got this out of the way, right, just a gentle reminder, if you are new to the Telegram channel, right, please go grab your free day trading guide. Uh, the link is in the description down below. It will take you to this page. Just input your email and we'll send it to you. And what you'll get is you'll get this uh, free day trading guide right here and the MPE trading strategy, which I'll be using to analyze the market in a moment's time. Okay, so the MPE trading strategy is a very simple way to trade. Okay, it stands for market condition, price level and entry which i'm going to demonstrate to you in the charts shortly okay so please make sure you grab this if you are new okay if you are new to our telegram right please make sure you hit the subscribe button to our youtube channel as well because we do have many good videos that cost us a lot of money to learn right we put this on our youtube channel for free so definitely check that out you know after this video now let's look at dxy Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to look at DXY. So DXY stands for Dollar Currency Index. Okay, so let me explain to you what happened last week. Okay, just, you know, just as a refresher. So this candle right here, it's Friday. So this that will be Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. So you can see that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, price was just, you know, in this tight range. And then on Friday, one bar erases the entire movement of the week. Okay, so this was why it was so difficult to trade last week because, you know, the movement was very tight and price wasn't going anywhere. And then after that, one fine day, which is on Friday, which is closing, you know, where, which is close to the market's closing, the market just starts selling down in um, the dollar index. Okay, so this was why the whole week, you see that, you know, the currency is just moving nowhere. And that was why it's very difficult to trade. And, you know, we went in, out, in, out, and we didn't really make uh, much pips in this kind of movement. Now, with that being said, okay, uh, this is the chart currently. So market condition, I would say that uh, this currency pair or rather this DXY, it's bearish because you can see that I've drew this uh, ascending trend line connecting this low to this low and you can see that it's broken and it's kind of acting like a resistance. So if you know, may maybe I just adjust it a bit just to 
just to make it clearer okay you can see that this is acting as resistance and this is looking kind of like a double top so this will be the first top and this is the second top okay so market condition is bearish okay let me just clear this so it's clearer okay just get rid of this okay so market condition is bearish so that's the first step in the MPE trading strategy okay the second step that we need if we know it's bearish is that we want to look for a good price level to sell so I I'm looking at this level right here, 92.78, which is actually the uh, previous uh, high right here because this is looking like a head and shoulders as well. If you look at this as a left shoulder and this big right here, this, this big movement here, here and here as a top, as a head, then this potentially could be the right shoulder. So left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Okay, so potentially... Uh, we could look for uh, price to be traced higher and then look for a candlestick pattern right here to take the shot okay all this is already covered in the free day trading guide okay i'm just following the exact steps which is market condition bearish price level i just given it to you an entry which will be a candlestick pattern such as the hammer shooting star engulfing pattern passing candle whatever that is actually mentioned in this free day trading guide okay so it's nothing new if you are a long time subscriber you know that i always say the same thing it's pretty simple if you are trading the daily time frame just stick to the rules and you should be able to come up a hit okay anyway most of you guys will not be trained into dxy okay you will not trade directly in dxy so how you will probably utilize this chart is that you are probably still looking to sell dollar which means that you want to look at um, going long euro dollar pound dollar Kiwi dollar and such, right? Because sell dollar means long euro dollar. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Okay, so if you get a sell here, then of course the next level of support will be right here, which is the previous high here. And of course, if this is broken, then uh, this level right here, which is uh, the previous swing low right here. Okay, so just take note of these key levels and I want to move on to euro dollar. Now, euro dollar is a bit tricky. Okay, so euro dollar, let's look at the market condition first. Okay, so right here's the low, here's the high, lower low, lower high. Okay, the market did a fake out right here, which I talked about uh, in the last market outlook video. I said that price didn't actually close significantly above this swing high. Okay, I said I wasn't convinced that this uh, swing high was broken. And true enough, our price started selling down. Okay, and I drew this trend line and it seems like this trend line is uh, still acting as some form of support. Okay, because uh, right here you can see that price is being supported. So right now price seems to be a building up to uh, move higher. Okay, this seems to be like a bear trap. Okay, so market condition is still bearish. So the, what we need is we need a good resistance level to sell. Okay, so if you were to just adjust the trend line, something like this, connect this high to this high, then this zone right here, let me just do it properly, this entire zone right here will be a very strong zone for you to look for a short position. Okay, so right now price is in the middle of nowhere. Okay, if you sell here, then you know your, your stop loss, sorry, your stop loss has to go above here, which is pretty high. Okay, so I recommend that you be patient. Okay, be patient and we have FOMC minutes. So chances are price will just, you know, hover, 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 then spike here. And then after that, you probably get a nice candlestick pattern here to short. Okay, please do not try to, you know, long. Look for long just because, you know, you're impatient and you want to capture the movement from here to here because there is no guarantee that price will retrace to here. Okay, price might do something like this, you know, up, down, up, down, and then after that, start selling down. Okay, so the highest probability trade is going to be it at this zone right here. Okay, if you can get it as high as possible right here, it's better that you trade here because this uh, previous swing low will act as support as well. So if you can short here, then of course uh, your take profit, you should be looking at uh, this level as well uh, as for your first take profit. You could take, you know, majority of your profits and then after that, try to write uh, the currency pair down right try to go for the bigger movement after you lock in some of the gains right here okay so that's how i would trade it at least on the daily time frame and on uh using the mpe trading strategy okay now just as a um you know clarification a lot of times uh, people ask what's the difference between the signals that we send you know on a telegram channel and the mpe trading strategy well, uh, these signals here are intraday signals, okay? They are generated using the H4 or the H1 time frame. This one is the daily time frame, strictly the daily time frame. And this is the strategy that I recommend that you focus on if you are a beginner, okay? Because if you are a beginner and you do not know how to read trend, right? 
trading the lower time frame like the H4 or H1 is going to be pretty difficult for you. But if you were to focus on the uh, daily time frame, then it's much clearer because most of the time the movement is much clearer and you know you are dealing with the daily candle, not the H4 candle. Okay, I talked a lot about this before because the daily candle shows that all three time frames or rather all three market sessions, the euro, the US and the Asia session agree on the price action. But if you trade the H4 time frame, for example, something like that, then uh, what might happen is that sometimes the euro session might say that this level is broken, but the US session unbreaks the level and say that this level is not broken. So you get something like this. Okay. Anyway, that's a bit more complicated. That's more advanced. So if you don't understand what I just said, it's totally fine. Okay. The idea is that uh, you want to stick to the daily time frame if you are still struggling to turn a profit. Okay. Please stick to the daily time frame. Please stick to this day trading guide that I've prepared for you because this will give you the best opportunity in order to turn a profit. Right. If you're going to trade a lower time frame and you don't know how to view trend, you're probably going to lose money. Okay. So let's move on to pound dollar. Pound dollar, uh, the market condi condition, I would say is bullish because uh, previously I, I, I think I drew this before. Okay, I, I said that this is high, lower high. This is lower low, lower low, lower low. But right here we have this candle that broke above uh, this high and uh, it made a higher high. Okay, so this trend line is also broken and you can see that right now price is looking like a big reversal pattern. Okay, inverted head and shoulders pattern, left shoulder, head and right shoulder. Okay, so for this reason, I would say that pound dollar is more bullish than bearish. Okay, now price is at a support now. Okay, however, right, please take note of this. This is the first zone of support. Okay, if I were to switch to the line chart, you can see that this was support. Okay. And if I were to switch back to candlestick pattern, you can see that this was support, 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 okay? So this is support. However, you can see that there is another zone of support below right here, okay? If I were to switch back to the uh, line chart, you can see that um, right here, this is a low as well and over here as well and somewhere over here, okay? So this is a support as well, okay? So one thing you have to be careful is if let's say you were to buy here, based on you know this candlestick which looks pretty good because this is an engulfing candle what might happen is that price might just actually go deep lower a bit and then start going up and then you you are already out with a loss okay so please be very careful if you're going to trade off this uh, i recommend that uh, you either use a wider stop loss or you just wait for price to really show a stronger sign that uh, that this level is holding because right now uh, to be honest i do not know whether this level is going to hold or you know it might dip lower so if you really want to buy, just make sure you use a wider stop loss, okay, because we have the market condition with you is bullish. We have the key price level. The last thing that we need is a price action trigger, which actually we got on Friday. Okay, it's just that I do not know whether price will actually test low. So let's say if you were to go long and you do something like this, let's say you do it like that. Okay, you can see that the risk to reward is also not that good. So personally, I would say it's better if we could wait for price to test lower. Maybe try to get a pin bar and do it something like that. Okay, maybe enter in when there's a pin bar and uh, you know get a tighter stop loss and get a further target take profit. So this will do wonders for risk to reward and this will make more sense rather than you chase the market uh, on Monday when the market open and just go long. Okay, so just take note of this zone. Okay, this zone is very important. This is a very strong zone. I will be looking to go long at this zone. Again, my team will send out any of these signals into the Telegram channel if we see any. So make sure you join us there if you are a YouTube subscriber and you haven't yet joined us in Telegram. Again, I will leave a link in the description down below. Now moving on to dollar franc. Okay, dollar franc is another nasty piece of you know crap that uh had a big sell down on Friday. Okay, so the entire week this is Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. So you can see that the whole week's movement, if you were to look at the weekly candle, it's pretty nasty. Okay, price didn't really do much for the entire week, and uh, it's kind of spiked this level right here okay and uh, we actually did mention that this is a very strong level for a couple of weeks already so right now uh, i would say that the market condition is still bullish because we have a left shoulder here hit and a potential right shoulder okay so we also have this uh descending trend line that was broken and we have confluence with a potential a strong support right here which is the left shoulder which was 
the previous uh, neckline of the head and shoulders pattern right here which uh, I drew in the previous market outlook videos okay this is the left shoulder head and right shoulder and this was the uh, neckline okay so this is a very strong level market condition is bullish now what we need is we just need a candlestick pattern right here to go long okay ideally if Monday the candle closes and we get a nice pin bar uh, then we can go long uh, something like this okay so this will be a setup that I'll be looking at i'll be focusing on because this is quite a nice setup with so many confluences okay you have the descending trend line you have the neckline you have the horizontal support and you have uh, the potential inverted head and shoulders which is the left shoulder head and right shoulder right here okay so remember that we need an entry trigger okay guys please do not just go long on monday without any candlestick pattern again this is already described in the day trading guide that i have prepared for you right here okay so please just be patient now moving on to kiwi dollar kiwi dollar i don't want to spend too much time on it because uh it's uh it's range bound okay so the upper resistance is right here and the lower resistance is right as lower support sorry support is right here one thing I want to point out is that there seem to be a bullish build up. You can see that this is a low, this is a higher low, and this is a higher low. Okay, so you can see that there is somewhat of a bullish build up happening. So I do expect the market uh, to potentially build up and break up. Okay, so if you want to trade Kiwi dollar, then what I recommend is that you wait for price to break up, then look for a retracement down back into this uh, previous resistance which will now act as support and then you look for a candlestick pattern here and then you go long okay that's how i recommend you trade it if price stays you know within this zone then i recommend that you do not touch this currency pair okay because it's just range bound it's, it's going to be very difficult for you to get good profit and it's, so it's also going to require a lot of experience to know whether uh, should you be holding your trade in the range market because you know in the range market goes up down up down down you do not know whether should you take your profit or should you not take your profit okay this is one of the biggest reasons why i don't recommend trading range okay so please try to stay away from this stick to this currency pair like dollar franc because it's much clearer now moving on to aussie dollar aussie dollar is similar to kiwi dollar same thing range bound okay price has not break out of this zone okay however uh this one right here Okay, I would say that um, right now it's still kind of neutral. It's not like Kiwi dollar which shows a build up. Uh, Aussie dollar is still of kind of mixed. So uh, honestly, I think the best way or rather the best thing to do for this would be to wait. Okay, if it breaks up, then we want to go long. If it breaks down, then we want to go short. Okay, so nothing too much to say about this. Uh, just wait for price uh, to show its hand. Probably when uh, you know when the FOMC is over, then price will probably start moving. Okay, so that's what I expect uh, for this uh, Aussie dollar. Now moving on to dollar cat. Okay, dollar cat is a bit tricky, so you want to pay close attention to this. Okay, I would say that dollar cat is still in an uptrend because we have a high here, low, higher high, higher low, higher high, and this low right here is not violated yet price has not closed and broken below this low right here okay it kind of tested the level but it hasn't broken now however right here you can see that this entire movement is a mess it can look it can reassemble head and shoulders pattern as well left shoulder head and right shoulder okay that's one way of seeing it or another way of seeing it would be an inverted head and shoulders pattern a very ugly one left shoulder head right shoulder okay let me just change over to the line chart okay it's not very clear but this is a left shoulder head and right shoulder okay so depending on how you see it it could be bearish or it could be bullish but i would say that this is more bullish than bearish because this level right here hasn't been broken okay so for this reason i recommend that you stay out of this okay this is a very ugly pattern and this level right here right here this support which is now acting as resistance i say that this level is probably going to act as resistance as well so it's going to be very hard to trade if let's say you are buying right here because that's resistance here okay so i would recommend that uh, you wait for price to do a nice breakout of this entire movement okay to confirm that this inverted head and shoulders is indeed valid close above this important resistance and then look for a retracement either to this level or this level with a candlestick pattern and then to go long okay i won't recommend that you trade anything in this zone because really it's, it's just one complete mess okay so there's really no point trying to force the market you know to to just break out when it hasn't broken up okay so that's what i have for you for dollar cat let's move on to dollar yen 
dollar yen same thing as a lot of other currency pairs because uh, this is Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday. So Monday to Thursday, it was pretty much doing nothing. Okay, it was just consolidating somewhere here. Then after that on Friday, okay, towards the, the, the end of the week, market just starts selling down right here. Okay, so that was why it was pretty difficult to trade last week. Now, dollar yen, I would say that is bullish because what I see right now is an inverted head and shoulders pattern, left shoulder head and potential right shoulder. Okay, this is very similar to dollar franc. So what I'll be looking for is to look for a candlestick pattern here to go long. Okay, it's a pretty similar setup to this in, in which we are trying to catch the right shoulder. But for dollar franc, what we have is the 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 descending trend line that was broken acting as confluence for this dollar yen uh, we don't have that but still i think that this will probably be a good setup because this entire movement up is quite bullish so i do expect that this level will hold okay so just wait for a candlestick pattern here and then we can go long uh, towards this level right here okay this is a strong resistance so you definitely want to lock in some profits uh, when price gets to this level okay now moving on to gold, XAU US dollar stands for gold. Okay, gold was pretty nasty. Okay, uh, I knew some friends who lost a lot of money last week because of this. Okay, I received some emails from some of you guys asking about gold because you guys lost a lot of money. Uh, on Monday when, uh, you know, there was a kind of like a flash crash, which uh, price sold down all the way to this. Okay, in fact, previously I did talk about this level before I said that this level was a strong support and uh, price uh, just broke down all the way to this level and we tested it. Okay, so market condition, I would say that it's still bearish because we have a low, high, lower low. Okay, the only issue now is that we are retracing. So right now we need price to retrace towards a higher uh, level, which would be this level right here. Okay, which is kind of like the neckline of the head double top sorry double top pattern first top second top this is the neckline i need price to retrace higher to this level and then look for a candlestick pattern here and then we can short it down okay just be careful of this level right here okay because this level right here might act as support so if you're going to go short here make sure you lock in some profits because what might happen is that price might do this retrace to this level and then start uh, buying up again okay so just look for this level and be careful about this support level which uh, might come into play okay if this level is broken of course then uh, we could look back to this level right here okay so that's how we trade it now moving on to euro pound euro pound uh, it pretty much this week it just consolidated all the way up okay this trend line broken trend line is still intact and you can see that on friday we got a shooting star okay so this level is still a very strong level because we have the um ascending trend line that was broken acting as resistance and we have previous uh, market structure right here right here and right here okay so i'll be looking for a candlestick pattern right here it's pretty straightforward okay look for a candlestick pattern short right here okay this is definitely bearish right we have high low lower high lower low okay so you should only be looking to sell especially if you are trading the daily time frame Okay, so market condition is bearish. Price level I've given you is right here. The last thing that we need is a engulfing pattern or, you know, a piercing candle or a nice, you know, shooting star. Actually, this qualifies as a shooting star. Okay, but personally, because this is Friday, I prefer to wait for Monday close to see if there's a follow through. Okay, because this is the weekend. Uh, I do not know over the weekend, maybe, you know, some news have come in and, you know, the market decides to break this level so personally i prefer to wait for monday to close wait for the monday's candle to close and see if this level is indeed acting as resistance if this is resistance then we can go short and then look for a nice uh target profit towards here because there's a lot of space from here to here okay again i'll send this out in the telegram channel if i see anything so uh you don't have to worry about whether uh making a judgment about whether this level will hold or not Okay, so let's move on to NASDAQ. NASDAQ, nothing too much interesting, okay, because uh, this trend line that I drew previously is still holding. Uh, the whole week is just consolidating and price hasn't broken above uh, this high. Okay, so I said that uh, last week we want to wait for price to break above and retrace. We didn't get that. So the game plan is still the same. Just be patient, okay? Just be patient and wait for the breakout and then the retest out, okay? Now, lastly, we have uh, pound yen. 
Now, pound yen, uh, I would say that it's bullish. The market condition is bullish because we have this left shoulder, head and right shoulder. And uh, this level right here, I did highlight that this is a very strong level already multiple times. I think even when price was here, I did highlight that this was a strong level. Then after that, you know, here and then right now it's still being resisted. Okay, so right now price is in the middle of nowhere. What I want to see is I want to see price uh, retrace back lower. Okay. We trace back lower first, and then if, if we get a setup here, then we can look for a buy. Okay, could be hammer, it could be engulfing pattern. Look for a candlestick pattern here, and then we can buy it up toward this level. Okay, this should be rather straightforward. I do think that this is going to be a high probability trade because this is a very strong level. You have uh, this level acting as support, this was resistance, this was support, support, and support. Okay, so definitely watch out for this level 151.14 because i do be think that this is level is probably going to hold if price uh, gets uh gets to this level okay just make sure to be patient to watch out for a candlestick pattern and not just buy because price is at this level okay so that's all i have prepared for you this week okay next week i'm going to remind you that we have fomc so it's not going to be easy okay I, i'm not even sure if you know we are going to turn a profit next week but what i can guarantee you is that it's not going to be easy and it's probably going to be very whippy okay so please manage your risk because that's something that we cannot do for you you have to be responsible for your own risk management you have to learn how to control your risk and not get emotional and do silly things like you know risking 10 percent of your account on a single trade okay please don't do that right if not Thanks for watching, right? Make sure you get your free day trading guide and join us in the Telegram channel, right? Again, all the links are down in the description down below. So I'll see you in the Telegram channel and please trade safe.